all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching ted with mark Wahlberg and seth mcfarland now i know it's about mark Wahlberg talking to a talking teddy bear this is another comedy movie that i just never got around to seeing but i'm happy i did it because now we can do it for the channel there's a lot of comedy movies i ha actually have not seen actually i know tom brady's in this i know he's in this actually that's like the only thing that's like the only like spoiler i know about it i, I saw the clip one time and it was like ted broke into tom brady's house they like, took ted and like threw him as like a football or something i don't know it was like a funny gag because i know that mark Wahlberg and seth mcfarland are huge huge patriot fans obviously tom brady place for them so they both love tom brady so they're like yes get in this movie now before we begin we gotta we gotta do a little shot uh mango pineapple flavored vodka i this i don't know if this is gonna be good but we're gonna do it anyway so <sighs> yeah that was, that was not good oh my god but anyways I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full, full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next comedy movie that I do will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Special time of year when Boston children gather together and beat up the Jewish kids. Hey, whoa. Not yet. I'm gonna name you Teddy. He had a friend with whom he could share his deepest secrets. Oh, the bears. It's like his best friend. Oh. An absolute death machine. Wait. Well. Is this Patrick Stewart narrating this? Night to make a wish. <laughs> That's a great narration. <laughs> My boy Charles. Teddy? Help me! Ah! surprise you're the one who wished for it aren't you be best friends for real for real forever and ever sounds good to me oh about the happiest boy in the world and he couldn't wait to tell everyone the good news mom dad guess what my teddy bear's alive really is well, isn't that exciting merry christmas everybody Fuck! let's <laughs> all be best <laughs> Oh, get away from that thing. Get over here. Right now. But Dad, get over here. Helen, get my gun. Dad, no! For the story of John's little miracle was sweeping the nation. Out of a Boston suburb comes what he magically come to life for as yet Bro, you know the Look what Jesus did! Look what Jesus did! You know the government would fucking snatch that bear in a second. Teddy never forgot his very best friend, John. John? Do you promise we'll always be together? I promise. Yeah. Don't switch up on me, dog. Thunder Buddies for life. I actually do remember Thunder Buddies being a really popular thing when I was in school. I guess it's from this, so. Eventually, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> I'm sure of. Oh, Mila Kunis is in this. Fucking Meg. <laughs> Can, technically, can the bear get injured? Oh, pfft, dog. Can the ET? Oh. Can the bear technically get injuries? I don't think it's just stuffing inside. Like I don't, I don't think he can. And like, how long does he? How long is Ted gonna live? Like, like what's his lifespan? Oh, star. Wow. Phantom Menace. Wow. Oh, is Yoda? That's oh, that's the OG baby Yoda. That's the OG Grogu. Okay, Mila Kunis is like his love interest. <laughs> He's riding a German Shepherd. All right, all right. Here's what I think this movie's gonna go. So like, Mila Kunis eventually is gonna be like, look, John, you have to grow up and grow out of this friendship you have with the bear. You smoking a bong. It's like, you're hanging on to him for too long or something like that. But like, they've been friends since he was a boy. Like, no way he's gonna abandon him for a girl. But that's gonna be like the conflict, I think, between them. John, may I speak with you, please? Oh, that dude is in the hangover. Here's the doctor. What do you mean? I really prepared for a follow-up question. <laughs> John, all you gotta do is not fuck up. And yeah. you get my job when I go to corporate next month. You're well, the new branch manager. My life could be your life. A cushy $38,000 a year branch manager who's personal friends with Tom Skerritt. That's that's the dream. That's the dream right there. I'm not gonna let you down, Goose. What? Top Gun. Top Gun. Yeah. So? 
Yeah, wait, what? Tom Skerritt. Oh, he was in it. Who's he playing, Top Gun? I don't even know who Tom Skerritt is. Complimentary map of Boston. Oh, it's Joe. That's the dude, that's the dude who plays Joe from Family Guy. Texted someone at 3.15 asking them to beat me up. And then <laughs> uh, at 4.30, I texted the same person saying thanks. Wow. wow. It just seems kind of gay, how... doesn't it? Wait, what? Getting because the bouncer was douche face. Do their accents are so thick. I mean, you don't think she's going to be expecting something big, do you? Circular gold thing on the finger. Me have been together for 27 years. Where's my ring? Huh? Where's my ring, asshole? Fuck Come on. Put it on my fuzzy Jesus finger, Christ. you fuck. Right. Come on. This just feels like Stewie and Brian. Who are you? Flash Gordon, quarterback, New York Jets. To save the world. Yeah. Tom Brady could do that. Tom Brady <laughs> could do that. <laughs> It's funny because apparently, well, Flash Gordon here plays for the Jets in the same division as Tom Brady. I can't do the accent, but but yeah, they're just gonna ride Tom Brady's meat this movie. Brugaslowski, perhaps a Teddy Bruski. Yep, Teddy Bruski, another Patriot player. Wow, they're just gonna dick ride the Patriots this entire movie, aren't they? Five years old, and you're still scared of a little thunder. I am not. I... <laughs> you thunder, you can suck my dick. You can't get me thunder because you're just God's fat. Oh my God. I definitely have heard that before. Hey, Laurie, can you set the alarm for 11 a.m.? I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds like Peter, bro. I mean, it, obviously, I know Seth plays him, but like, yeah, when Ted talks, I feel like it's literally just Peter. Our life and... And he can, and then I swear to God, it is because of that bear. You mm. should give him an yep. ultimatum. Yep. It's you or the bear. Call oh, it. I can't do that. That would devastate him. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, she understands. Yeah. Well, hello there. Sorry if I'm interrupting any private girl talk about Channing Tatum's hey, index finger. What? Why is it? No. All right. It's a joke I don't get. But I think I get it. It's like, yeah, he's been, he's been boys with Ted for 27 years. You really think he's going to choose you over Ted? Hell no. I mean, if we were together, our babies would be spectacular. Bro, what I mean, is... with my top of the pyramid. <laughs> what is this? Actually, could you wrap just this up for me? I want to scare the shit out of somebody. Sure. <laughs> what are you, like, five years old? Yeah, but I read at a six-year-old level, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah, honestly, if you did have Ted with you for 27 years, it would be really hard to grow out of that phase. He still has, like, the teenager in him that just wants to dick around and it's like, especially with Ted, you're never going out of that. So oh, great. Oh yeah, Chris Brown can do no wrong. Wow, you can really move. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's how we met her. Sorry, sorry. Does it hurt? No, it, it's fine. Yeah, she saw what he actually looks like. She's like, oh my God. Dancing was not that bad. It was pretty bad. I have cool moves. Yes, so do people with Parkinson's. That's not how I remember. Okay. I'll give this to you for a long time. Mm. John. Earrings. Those are the ones you like, right? From that kiosk at the mall? She thought it was a ring. Where yeah. I mean, bro, that's, this is bad timing for that gift. Terrible timing for this gift. You're not gonna have any sort of career if you keep wasting time with Ted. Oh, jeez, here we go. Baby, please ask Ted to move out so we can move on with our lives. All right, look, Dave, I, I was not a popular child. Mm. You have to understand, I had no friends before he came along. Look, you can still be boys with him, just, but you can't, just don't spend 24 hours a day with him, you know? You don't get shit done when you're with him. Oh, shit. Hang on a second. Oh, no, my phone fell into the seat somewhere. Can you call it? It's fucking weird, Oh, yeah, Seth MacFarlane's also a huge Star Wars guy. <laughs> Shout out Family Guy Star Wars. What is it? Because it sounds negative. Yeah, why is it? Oh, no, no, it's, it's from the notebook. <laughs> it's fucking Imperial March. I like how that's her ringtone. Bad news. Oh, Laurie. Adam Sandler plays a guy and his sister, and it's it's just awful. It's unwatchable, but you know they're hookers. I actually I tried to see that, and it is pretty bad. Ah! <laughs> Who lives here? You owe me lobster money. <laughs> That's my buddy Johnny. Ah, uh, too much for her, dude. She needs him to grow up and be warm. Yeah, I totally see her point, honestly. John and Ted, they don't have to like break up and never be friends again. Like, no, you can still hang out with them, just not every single day, not twenty four seven like you guys do now. You gotta move out. What? It's, it's gonna happen. 
but Ted fucked up when he didn't capitalize on the fact that he, when he was brand new, a brand new phenomenon in the world, how he didn't cash out. Like Patrick Short said, no one gives a shit anymore. Like Patrick Short said, no one gives a shit anymore. So it's like, Ted's gonna have to work a normal job. She's making you do it, isn't she? I mean, but that doesn't mean we can't hang out. I mean, we'll hang out all the time. It's not just for the sake of you and her. It's it's for the sake of your own life, bro. You're 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 a bomb. Like you need to get your shit together, regardless. Man, I'll help you get on your feet out there. I promise. I know, and we'll hang out all the time, right? Mm-hmm. I love you. Oh, fuck. Shit. Sorry. That's the oh. the thing. The thing. The old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know. yeah. I'm surprised the shit still works 27 years later. It's not that bad. John, I look like something you give your kid when you tell him grandma died. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I yeah, see some people still think it's cool. So, like, you could get a job where, like, you know, people take photos of you, I guess. Like how people want photos with like Santa, someone dressed as Santa, you know? It's, I don't know, something like that. That could, make, that could make you a lot of money. Have you ever considered selling the bear? What? Excuse me? Mm. I want it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, little guy, but my bear isn't for sale. See, I've, I've had him since I was about your age. He's very, very special to me. Stand up straight when you're talking. <laughs> Why the fuck would he say that? <laughs> sorry, you know, you really shouldn't swear in front of children. Uh, look, we're very interested in the bear. If, if you want to make some fit, here's my address and phone number. And uh, what's the price? Can you imagine what that little shit would do to me? I yeah, totally you know, he shouldn't. But like if he but if he does, like what's the minimum price? Like I'm gonna say like ten million. At least ten million for him. Bro, I guarantee yeah, I guarantee you, like I don't know how rich this dude is, but I guarantee you some fucking billion out there would pay whatever you wanted for Ted just to give him to his son like this guy wants to do with his son. You could easily you could definitely get like ten million off a of bill or like fifty mil off a of billionaire. First night on your own. Yeah, first night in my beautiful new apartment. With whose money? You work at a grocery store, and John's a bomb. <laughs> Bro, you're not even gonna help him unpack all his boxes? Like, he's his best friend. Hey, anything for you? Ted's going back. This is all part of the new grown-up adult John Bennett, so... Nah, they have such an attachment to each other, Ted's just gonna come back. They're inseparable. I don't have to be at work for another 20 minutes, so... Well, that's perfect. I'm only gonna need one. <laughs> I was gonna say, I only need 45 seconds. I actually went through something like this with my last boyfriend. We were together for eight months, and I really loved him. And then he got deported back to Iran, so I know what you're going through. Well, I guess we both lost our furry little guy. <laughs> Bruh. I cannot just ditch work, man. Look, I'm trying to get my shit together and be an adult here, you know, for Laurie's sake. <laughs> that actually, that actually caught me so off guard. Woody Harrelson, smallest dick I've ever seen on a man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a shot. Laurie, and now what's her name? White trash name, yes. Mandy. Nope. Brittany. Nope. Tiffany. Nope. Candace. Nope. Don't fuck with me on this. I'm I know not, this shit. I'm with you. I'm not, All right, I'm speed round. Serious. I'm going to rattle off some names when I hit it. Fucking it. buzz it, okay? I will tell you. You got me? Yeah. All right, Brandy, Heather, Channing, Brianna, Amber, Sabrina, Melody, Dakota, Sierra. <laughs> Claudine, Savannah, Casey, Dolly, Kendra, Kali, Chloe, Devin, Emily, fucking Becky. Nope. Oh, my God. How do you know all these names off the top of your head that fast? Got you, motherfucker. <laughs> I got you. Okay. Brandy Lynn, Heather Lynn, Chan Tammy Lynn. Fuck! <laughs> Bro, it is funny. He said a lot of names right there. They are uh, names that Ted said, yeah. Hmm. It's gonna be that kid who wanted him. He's gonna just kidnap him. Oh shit. Hey, Ted. <laughs> oh, hey. It's a dad. Are you out here all alone? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Uh, you know, you're never alone when you're with Christ. So, no, I'm not alone. <laughs> Dude, the jokes in this movie are really good. You know, Robert and I could give you a very, very good home. I'm good. Be happy where I am. I just got a shitty new apartment. I can I... offer you six thousand dollars in railroad bonds. No, no. You know, since I just returned from active duty in the Civil War, that actually sounds very appealing. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. That was 150 years ago, and uh, I don't give a shit. Okay, yeah, because he said railroad bonds. That was a clever rebuttal. That was good. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to decline. Can I just get a hug? No. Oh. Uh... Who was that guy? Oh, that, that was uh, Sinead O'Connor. She don't look so good no more. 
I don't even know who that is, but I'm sure if I did, that would have been a very funny joke. Interested in meeting the lady that can snatch him up. Did you just call me a whore? What? No. What? You just worry about your own snatch. No. How about that? You think you're all cool because you work at some fucking fancy shit place? Okay, Whatever. Take it easy. I'm not buying this attitude from her. It's not my fault. She can't speak English. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Just because you're on the business world and shit, you think what? Everybody I feel like Margot Robbie would do a way better job on this role right here. I'm trying to walk a line here. I want to be fair to you and to him, you know? Well, I think you're being a little more fair to him. Oh, mm. come on. You're not giving anything a chance if you keep blowing off work to get high with your teddy yeah you're still seeing him like every day like i've been bumming around with ted too much i know that too you give me one more chance i promise i can fix it john i need a man not a little boy with a teddy bear yeah. i know done man what's okay what's gonna happen is him and ted are not gonna talk for a minute you know and then ted's gonna get abducted by that dad and son and then john's gonna have to go and save him there she is i was worried you weren't coming Hey, Squirt, how you doing? Where's your bunny rabbit? Immediately little bros him by calling him Squirt. I mean, obviously, he's interested in Lori, so... This is Wade Boggs' autographed bat. Donnie here for that at auction. Wow, mm. cool. Yeah, cool. These boxing gloves worn by Joe yeah, Lewis. He's pissed, that's all he said. This is art. Get it? No, it's stupid. That's ugly. These were John Lennon's glasses. They're worth like a million dollars. Bro, stop flexing on them. Check this out. It's Lance Armstrong's nut. <laughs> I just come up here and I look at it. Well, honestly, if you have that much money, why not? You know, she told me how you are with the offer. And as one gentleman to another, I just want to say, I really hope you fucking get Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> what? Bro, who the fuck says that? I hope you get Lou Gehrig's disease. Hey, Ted. Johnny, where are you? You got to get over here, man. Why? What's going on? OK, so I'm having a little impromptu thing with some people. Up Sam Jones is here. What? Sam Jones. Flash fucking garden is here. Holy shit, what? You remember I said my buddy's No, Lori's gonna get so pissed for you can't you can't leave Lori here all by yourself, but I get it. But Flash Gordon is super important. They grew up watching that. I gotta go. Look, I'll be back in like 30 minutes tops. No, no. Lori cannot find out. She absolutely cannot know I was gone. If you can cover for me. John, you're a fucking moron. On this. She won't know. I've been there. Oh, right, this is one man to another. I don't really know you, but I'm trusting you as a man. Oh this is God. serious. Thank you. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm gonna have sex with your girlfriend. No, wow. nah, no, Lori. Okay, no, Lori's not doing that. Well, like, she's probably gonna break up with him, dude, because how pissed she's gonna be. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> I thank you for saving every one of us. Oh, you're welcome. Let's do some shots. With you? Oh my god. Yes. Oh yes. my god, yes. Totally. That's very sick, actually. Taking a shot with Flash Gordon, that's very sick. Ooh, you like to party? Mm. Doing doing a bump with Flash Gordon? Oh, yeah, John's for sure not making John's not going back. Lori's gonna have to somehow get home. And then John's gonna be hella pissed at Ted and be like, you know what, Ted? We're done. And then he's gonna try and get Lori back. And then that's when Ted gets abducted. So then John has to go back for him. <laughs> I'm gonna punch through it. No, you're not. You're gonna break your hand. You're gonna break your hand. Oh my god! Oh my god! Lucky there wasn't a thing behind it. You break on my wall! I break your wall! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Accident, okay? I tried to make duck dinner. Now plaster everywhere. Well, we just saved that duck's life. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. Come on, James Franco. <laughs> That's why you named the duck. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> yeah, it is a pretty great night, but you probably lost your girlfriend over this. Hope it was worth it, John. Hey. Hey, guy. Yeah, what's going on? Is that right? The Jared. This is the guy who beat me up. <laughs> and uh, we're in love. Dude, I didn't realize it was him at first. That's a great cameo. I gotta, I gotta go. Hey, at least this wasn't at your place. It was at Ted's. You know? Oh shit. Lori, I... Lori! We just lost her. I'm sorry, I messed up. Don, I... I need you out of the apartment tonight. Ooh. Can I... Give me the car keys. Can I please just explain? No. Fumbled that one, John. Honestly, I could... Like, this movie's gonna end with them back together, and Ted's probably gonna end up living with them again anyway, so... You know what? Fuck you. I don't even want to talk to you. What? Do you have any clue? My fucking life just ended. Do you give any shred of a shit? No. Nope. Of course I do. Johnny, Thunder Buddies for life, remember? 
I should have stopped hanging out with you a long time ago. <sighs> because of that, I just lost the love of my life. I'm sorry. I, I gotta be on my own, Ted. I can't see you anymore. Wait, listen. I love you. Oh, you really had to hit him with the eye. Oh, he doesn't care. Damn, that was a good. That was a good play, though. So, word through the grapevine is that you're newly solo. Rex, I have a lot of work. Oh, shut up. <laughs> with me. You're asking me out a week after I broke up with somebody? Shameless. I'm an asshole. I know that. <laughs> hey, Johnny. It's me. Five seconds. I saw Laurie leaving the apartment with Rex. Mm. What? You're blaming me for something that you did to yourself. You cannot take responsibility for anything that goes on in your life. Oh, and you can? I don't have to. I'm a fucking teddy bear. <laughs> Ted, you literally instigated every single thing John has done so far. Like, you peer pressure the fuck out of him to do everything. And now you're going to flip it on and be like, you got to take responsibility for it. <laughs> Ted has hands. <laughs> oh. oh, no. No, don't. Don't stew my <laughs> Ooh, we got stewed. I'm so sorry, Johnny. Oh my man. I love you. I love you too. Oh, okay. They're cool again. We're gonna get her back together. Help you make things right with you and Laurie. Mm -hmm. We're going to the hatch shell. Can't you can't run up on her on a date. She's gonna get pissed that you're here. Like it's gonna be so embarrassing for you and for you and Ted and her and just honestly, Rex, it's gonna be embarrassing for everyone. Thanks, we're gonna take a short break, but we'll be back in a few. Oh shit, we're about to have a um a love handle moment because Ted knows her, so she's gonna get he's gonna get her to play a song for whatever. Thanks for, for John. Hey, listen, I want you to meet a Wait, good pal what? of mine. All right. Didn't hear. I didn't hear anything you said leading up to that line. Hey, they're sweaty. All right. Um, you ready uh, to bring down the house? Yes, ma'am. But we're about to have a love handle moment right here. If you if you don't know love handle, if you know, you know. <laughs> Chops a rest and bring a friend up to the stage. Mm -hmm. He's gonna sing a song to a special. Oh no, this gonna be so bad. Please give a big hand to John Bennett. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, right? I mean, honestly, from Rex's perspective, this is gonna, this is just gonna be funny. But it was a sweet distraction for an hour two. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Mark Wahlberg actually used to make music. Still better than Katy Perry. Oh, what? Bro, what? What's that diss on Katy Perry? Bro, Katy Perry goes hard. What does Seth MacFarlane have against her to say that? There has to be, like, lore I don't know about. I mean, it was actually really unfair of him to embarrass you like that. I mean, it's not like anyone that... Just to be clear, I'm not embarrassed. Hmm. And John and I may have our problems, but at least he tried. Yeah. I mean, it's not like anyone in the crowd, like, knows who she is. It's like... Where are you going? Taking a cab. I'm going home. Ooh, she's tired of your bullshit, Rex. And your stupid name. You know, he, all right, he knows he screwed up huge, but you gotta believe me, it wasn't all his fault. Yeah, take right, I told him to bail on you that night at Rex's, and he said no. He said oh, no, he okay, was gonna stay okay. there with you, and I do Love it. the responsibility Ted's taking here. This is between John and me, and I don't think it can be fixed. Yeah, because of me. Look, look, all right, but as long as he's got his teddy bear, He's always gonna be a boy. I'll be gone when you get back. Oh, forever. He'll never be scared of thunder again. See, this is this is way more sad than like you know John and Ted getting pissed at each other and splitting up. Damn. It's like they both know what's best. They don't want to do it, but they know they have to. And the fact that they're agreeing to split up makes it way more sad. Yeah, and Lori's gonna feel too bad and be like, no, nah, honestly, it's fine. Like, as long as you guys don't just get high every single day and just don't do shit, then, like, I think it's fine. <laughs> just change your habits, but make it. Skin orange grapefruit. <laughs> My God, America is imploding. <laughs> <laughs> just make an effort to not waste your entire day every day. <gasps> oh! Hi, Ted. Yep, they're gonna take his ass. <laughs> She's gonna reconsider everything. Oh my god. Whoa. It's like Joe Goldberg shit. Okay, what is your plan? Like, what are you gonna do with him now? Part of our family for quite some time. He's not gonna, he's never gonna wanna stay here. Welcome home. Oh yeah, no. 
Yeah. Bro, if you can beat John's ass, you can beat the fuck out of these two. What a kidnapping. It's a nice fucking example, you said. Language! God, Sorry. Family. Yeah, you see, this family has problems. I asked my dad if I could have a magical little teddy bear too, and he said no. no. Nope. And I was so heartbroken. And I promised myself that if I ever had a son, I'd give him that. Ever. Wow. Say no to him. Look, that's great intentions, but like, that's not the best thing you could do for your kid. Like, for it. That's a great story. I felt like I was there. <laughs> Daddy gave me an ouch. What are you gonna now, give Ted an ouch? I have to give you an ouch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he ripped his fucking ear off. See, now this kid has fucking anger issues and shit. Like, hey, you hide first. Great, fantastic. Okay, now you count to a hundred and then you try to find me, okay? Okay, I'll distract him for a hundred seconds. Now you just gotta worry about the dad for a hundred seconds. Get, snake the dad as hard as you can and then just leave. Like, that's all you gotta do. They don't understand, and so we're running just as fast as we can. Oh. The dad's feeling himself, though. Dude, this house is, this house is so depressing. Like, I don't know, just the interior of it makes me, like, uneasy. There's something that I need to say to you, too. Oh, it was Ted. Tonight, I oh. don't want you to think that... Why why would John already have him blocked or why would Ted be calling off a block number? It makes no sense. Look, whoever this is is not a good time. John, it's me. Can you hear mm. me? I'm not sure. It's um Hello? Oh, the dad. Hello? The dad. Oh fuck, that's right. You're not a very polite guest, are you? Shit. Ted, hello? Ted, you could literally beat his ass. You beat the shit out of John like 10, 15 minutes ago. Can you call him back? No, it's blocked. Yeah, wait, is that just like a de the default on their home phone or something? Cause I mean, that makes sense. This family's pretty fucking sus. <laughs> Bro, you should've just clubbed the kid as hard as you- as hard as you fucking could. Come on, Ted. <laughs> Ooh, oh, we're in- Oh! Oh, okay, that's convenient. Jesus. No. If he gets too many cuts, he's gonna die. Where? No! You can't! John's gonna fucking sock him in the face. Arr! Yeah. This dad is really dedicated. You're mine, Ted! But I can give you love! And rocking horses! No. At what point does he die, though? Like, how much damage would he have to take from the die? I'm. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, if it just gets split open and all the stuffing comes out, yeah. Oh, oh no! He got split in half. There's no way. He, no, dude. There's no way he fucking dies. No. This dude's like Joe Goldberg. <laughs> I mean, maybe they, yeah, they could put the stuffing back in and sew them up. Like, maybe, maybe. Jesus, I look like the robot from Aliens. No, no, look at me, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need, I need to tell you something. Hmm. Don't ever lose her again. Oh, right, She's right. the most important. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Even more than me. She's your thunder buddy now. Oh no, he's just a regular teddy bear, dude. No. Dude, why am I like kind of starting to tear up? What the fuck? <laughs> nah, he's gonna get lucky again, and they're gonna have another magical night, and it's gonna bring him back to life. But if that does happen, is he gonna be the same Ted, or is he gonna be a completely brand new Ted, and then Ted doesn't even know John anymore? You know, they have to redo their entire friendship. That'd be so shitty. Give me, I, don't, I don't know if this is gonna work. It better. It has to work. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, he's not even afraid of the thunder anymore. He just doesn't give a shit, dude. I mean, Ted did say, like, 
he won't be scared of the thunder if he's gone. So like, yeah, it's not even the fact that he's scared of it. It's just like the fact that that that's the thing. So it's gonna be your wish this time. A really good storyline, actually. <laughs> so you never think it would be Lori's wish to bring Ted back. Hmm. There you go. Ted, I'm alive, Johnny. Oh, oh my God. Sounds different. It was you. Mm -hmm. You wished for my life back. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I wished for my life back. Oh. After last night, I don't ever want to lose anyone who matters to me ever again. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna wait any longer for my life to stop. Good. Lori. Will you marry me? Will you marry? Oh, me? she. She said it. I just threw that out there. And so, John, Laurie, and Ted lived happily ever after. That all they really needed was each other. Mm -hmm. Just because somebody stumbles doesn't mean they've completely lost their way. By the power of vested <laughs> well, he's in me. The, he's the faster. By the New York Jets. <laughs> Two, three, yeah! It's a perfect way to end the movie. And th that would have been apartment with his roommate Brandon Routh. Oh, Remember Superman. Brandon Routh from that god awful Superman movie? Jesus, what? dude, I've actually seen that movie. I, I remember seeing that movie when I was super duper young, and I actually really liked it. Like, kind of thinking about it now. Yeah. Long afterward, he fell into a deep depression and died of Lou Gehrig's disease. Oh, just like fucking John Wish, I guess. It's two for two. Robert got a trainer, lost a substantial amount of weight, and went on to become Taylor Lautner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was Ted. That was a very, very, very funny movie. It was a lot funnier than I even thought it was going to be. And the storyline, too, was pretty good. You know, it had a really good redeeming storyline. Oh, my God. See, <laughs> some of the jokes in this movie, though, we're definitely going to do Dead 2 next. 100% that's next. Definitely going to have to check out more of Seth MacFarlane movies. I don't know if he has that many he's done. I know he has a couple more, but I don't know if it's like a super long list or anything. But we're probably going to go on a little Seth MacFarlane spree then. But yeah, that was Ted. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.